What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So quick video today, I actually wanted to highlight a fix that one of my students brought up in one of our live calls in the SketchUp Essentials course yesterday. So those are great calls because people can actually show up to the calls and ask their SketchUp questions and things like that. Sometimes things show up that even I don't think of. So I wanted to highlight this as a fix. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so the question was brought up sometimes when people are modeling um, and for whatever reason, maybe they have x-ray mode on or something like that, they might have accidentally gone through and erased out an edge on one of their walls. And, you know, occasionally, sometimes they might have even erased out like multiple different edges, right? It's really easy to do, especially if you toggle x-ray mode on or something like that. So now what you've got is you've got this issue where you've got this hollow exterior wall. And so, um, I mean, obviously the easiest thing you can do, or the first thing you can do is you can go through and you can start kind of like tracing these back in. But the problem with going through and tracing all of these back in is even if it heals all of your faces, you've got like holes in the walls and things like that. So one of the fixes that was brought up in the, in the call yesterday, which is actually a really good idea that didn't even occur to me on the call is instead of you going through and picking up all of that additional stuff again with an exterior wall in Instead, and I'm going to erase out these edges right here, so this is just a singular wall, you can just select the face, so you can double click on it, or really you could single click on it as well, and you could just use the move tool in copy mode and just copy the face over, like this. So, when you do that, what you've done is you've replaced the wall in here using the exterior wall, which is the same as the interior, really quickly, so I do the same thing over here on this wall where I just double click, make sure I've picked up all the faces, and then I would just use the move tool in copy mode in order to create a copy of that face over here. And I can reverse the face like this. So if you ever have a situation where you accidentally, whoops, ever accidentally drop out one of these walls, instead of doing a whole bunch of like tracing and then tracing over your openings or anything like that, um, what you can do instead is just use those exterior walls. Because if I trace over this, notice how I'm gonna have to come back in here and retrace all my window openings in order to delete them out. It's just a whole bunch of extra work. So this way is going to be a lot easier. So big thank you to Janet for that solution. That's a lot easier than what I was thinking about in those calls. That's what I love about those calls is sometimes solutions come up where I can learn something too. So I love just having conversations with course members about their questions in SketchUp. If you do want to check out the course, maybe get your questions answered, I will link to that on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.